Um, thank you. Thank you for attending this uh, presentation. I'm uh, Walter of GSTW. And uh, today I try to, to, to show you what is the state of art, last development, and the few processes did about uh, GTW Suite. For who don't know is, what is GTW Suite, uh, I can tell you that the GTW Suite is an uh, app, on a web app for the publication of uh, uh, QGIS project as WebGIS services. In fact, the idea behind the birth of GTW Suite can summarize in these following four, uh, four points. First, uh, uh, therefore, have a, a dedicated application for the publishing as QGIS project as WebGIS services hmm? in total economy with few steps and uh, in a very simple way. Second, have an app uh, where organize uh, the WebGIS services in container in a, in a hierarchical way with, for example, cartographic group and micro cartographic group. Third point, uh, have an access control in front uh, to our web, web GI services uh, with uh, users and role, also them uh, organizing in a hierarchical mode. And uh, fourth and last, uh, as I have uh, um, a plugin system for the developing on of custom models uh, mm, for to respond to the customer's request. Uh, from this point is board is built a GTW suite. In this slide, you can see that how, how uh, there is the architecture of uh, GTW suite, and uh, uh, as you see, there is uh, two main components. At the top, we have uh, we can try. Okay, it's working. <laughs> uh, at the top, you can find a GTW client that is uh, made by JavaScript and uh, OpenLay Vue.js framework. This is a. Uh, uh, a classical WebGIS interfaces with map, uh, reference map, uh, map widget, token, etc. And it communicates with a GTW admin that is administration component. It's made by Python, Django, and is fully integrated with a, a QGIS server thanks to Python Q, uh, PyQGIS API. In fact, thanks to, thanks to this integration, GTW admin works as a, also as an OGC services server for the GTW client and works as uh, API REST services also for the GTW client. At the base, we have a, a, a database, a Postgres database that uses it as an administration database, but it also can be used as a geo database uh, but, uh, for, for the data. But you can use inside GTW suite every type of data, also file system data, geo package, shape file, etc. Uh, so, in conclusion, you, every type that uh, QGIS servers can read. Hmm? Uh, our policy is uh, to follow the QGIS server LTR version. In fact, that now it will be support uh, the 3.34 version. Uh, our old GTW suite. Uh, GTW suite, uh, in a very simple way, you can get your QGIS project file and the product data inside GTW Suite for to get a WebGIS services running. Hmm? In fact, during this uh, upload, uh, uploading workflow, uh, GTW Suite inherits many capabilities and features uh, from, uh, uh, from the QGIS project file. In fact, it's inherited, for example, the get capabilities and GCC, and GCC services, the structure of talk, themes, uh, uh, the uh, legend filter, etc. Sure, it inherited every aspect about the map, symbology, labeling, uh, item, views, etc. And uh, if there is uh, some relationship between layers inside your projects, uh, for example, one, uh, one to N, one to M, one to one relationship between layers, it, it, they are inherited inside GTW Suite. Mm? Um, but not at all. It inherited also aspects uh, about uh, the um, the um, consultation and editing aspects of your uh, QGIS project. In fact, it inherited the structure of forms that you can create inside your QGIS desktop, aliases, uh, the editing widgets, uh, constraints, uh, default value, etc. It inherited also the print layout, the simple print layout also, and the atlas. And uh, thanks to integration with the data plot plugin, if you know, you can uh, you, you, you can uh, take uh, the, the, the chart that you, the, the plot that you can make inside the QGIS desktop and uh, make available on your WebGIS services. 
Now I want to show you what is what uh, what the 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 works and the, the uh, of uh, every component of, uh, of, uh, of two components of GTW suite. GTW mean, I said before, is the administration component. And uh, uh, the is behavior is uh, to publish the QGS project as WebGIS services uh, and control the access permission on that, on, for them. Uh, inside the GTW mean, you can create the users, the group of users, and uh, you can uh, set the role for these users. In fact, inside the, inside the GTW suite at the moment, we are four level of roles. You have the administration level one and two, editor one level and two, and viewers. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, also in GTW admin, you can manage your WebGIS services. In particular, you can uh, create searches, uh, constraints and the features for single layer inside a single project, etc. You can activate the editing component, the download component, etc. In fact, as you can, uh, as uh, uh, I show you after, uh, uh, GTW Suite is made by a strong editing component that makes it possible to make uh, strong editing online activities. But uh, thanks to the uh, Thanks to the plugin uh, system, you can manage also the uh, specific module that can be activated for specific WebGIS services. JTW client, as I said before, is the a classic WebGIS client. You can find it as a, as a oh, sorry. You can select the main map, reference map, talk, map widget, and uh, etc and uh, is based on the modular approach and, uh, and uh, thanks to GTW admin and thanks to the API REST every interfaces, you can set the layer visibility, the attribute table visibility, the alphanumeric, geometric, geographical, constraint visibility, etc. Hmm? All, all these aspects can be uh, activated and can be set inside the GTW admin for the, for the client. In, uh, for every WebGIS services that uh, GTW site uh, can run. <laughs> How is it possible to deploy GTW suite? GTW suite at the base, uh, the, as default, is a, an, a Django app. As an a Django app, you can deploy it as a classical Django, Django app thanks to uh, WebGI interfaces. But the modern and the, the, the simple way for to, to try and to deploy GTW suite is by Docker and Docker Compose. You can use, uh, in this way, you can use uh, uh, GTW Suite also in the Kubernetes and uh, so in an uh, orchestrated, uh, orchestrated system. In this slide, I show you how uh, the GTW Suite is uh, orchestrated by Docker and Docker Compose. And uh, by default, we have uh, uh, four Docker images for Docker contains running. Uh, at the top, we have uh, mm, at the top, we have a Docker Nginx image that is used as a reverse proxy in front of a main GTW Suite image that contains the, the code of GTW Suite and the QGS server hmm, at the same time. At the base, we have the Bosges database that is used, as said before, uh, as an administration database, but it can be used also as a geo database. And in the middle of the right, you can see the Redis instance that is used as an internal uh, caching system. But uh, uh, GTW Suite, uh, with GTW Suite, uh, it's possible to uh, make also um, batch processing in back. And so you can deploy another instance of GTW Suite for to do that. And in this case, uh, Redis is, is used also as a message broker for this, uh, between the, the main web GTW Suite image container and the batch processing image container. Now, in the no. Okay, it's possible to open. Okay, did you see? Yes, it's okay. This is a video that show our GTW Suite is works. What is the workflow? Uh, as you can see, you, you, are, uh, you are in your QGIS desktop. You can make your QGIS project. 
After that, you can take the ArcGIS project, update inside the GTW suite, and set other features, for example, the accesses and the user and the role that can access to, the, to these uh, services. After that, uh, after the save of the services, the WebGIS services is starting to run. So with a few steps, with a one step or two steps, it's possible to, to make, uh, to make a viable, a viable uh, a WebGIS services. GitHub Suite, uh, what, can I, what can I do with GitHub Suite? Not only publish a WebGIS service with my QGIS project, but, but uh, as you can see, I can make many things with it. Hmm? Uh, thanks to integration with WebGIS services, I can expose my OGC services. Hmm? with uh, many layers in front of that, for example, for the access control. Uh, but uh, thanks to uh, advanced uh, editing system, I can make, uh, for example, by, by self, uh, uh, web cartography management systems. Or uh, thanks to integration with by CSV, I can expose my layer and the metadata about uh, this layer. And the uh, last one uh, I will show you in the, in the afternoon today, uh, we have developed a new module, a new, a new plugin for the integration of uh, QGIS Processing uh, API and the QGIS Processing Framework desktop into GTW Suite. In fact, thanks to, in, thanks to uh, the uh, plugin system, uh, we have developed many models uh, uh, for to extend the features of GTW Suite. We have made models for the integration uh, of data for the time series. In the same way, you can, sh you can use inside the QGIS desktop. We, we, we have made uh, reporting system models. We have made uh, uh, models for uh, uh, public administration, an example for to, to, to consult on the cadastral data or for to uh, make urban planning activity. But we have uh, made models for extend uh, other capabilities, for example, the authentication capability of GTW Suite. We have the, the models that uh, uh, we for uh, the Active Directory authentication, CSB services, as I said before. And uh, thanks to uh, integration with the uh, Open Root services, uh, uh, we have developed a model for to create on fly and to show isochrone layer. Okay. In this very first part, I show you how GTW Suites work, and now I want to show you what is the last uh, news about the last two releases of GTW Suite, the 3.7 and the 3.8 version, and I'll show you what is the uh, next perspective and next news about the, the 3.9. First of all, in these last two releases, eh, we supported the, the new uh, QGIS LTR version, the 3.34. Um, we extended their capabilities to import the relationship between layer. In fact, now we support uh, also the relationship based on multi-key fields. Before, only with uh, one, K, one couple of key fields we supported. Uh, we have extended the, the, um, the importation and the behavior of uh, uh, QGIS widget uh, form, for example, value relation, value map, relation reference widget, uh, also inside the searching system of the GTW suite. Thanks for our customer and friends. Uh, we, are, we have uh, uh, made a registration system for uh, end users and the recovery password. And we have uh, we had the, the support. Uh, the, we had added the support to PostGIS uh, type layer, PostGIS uh, raster layer. We make uh, some uh, uh, some update about the user user interfaces of GTW admin. We we create some filter for to to reach uh, uh, our cartographic group uh, and our project. Uh, our project uh, in a very fast way. We have exposed also the OGG API future, future uh, services of, G, of uh, QG server, because at the moment only exposed the, the WMS and WFS. 
Now it's possible to choose uh, what type of, uh, the type of format uh, of the image uh, the, of the WMS services and uh, uh, for GTW client. Now it's possible to set up uh, PNG, JPEG, and PNG one bit, etc. And uh, uh, also uh, now it's possible to, for every layer inside the project, uh, uh, specify is uh, in a layer in the token. Uh, Make, make it available in the talk of the BGS client or not. Until now, the uh, editing activity on a layer, it was possible only activating uh, uh, the, this capability in layer by layer. Now it's possible to activate uh, these capabilities for many layers at the same time. We extended the download the future, adding the possibility to download the single future querying uh, uh, response in PDS format. And uh, on, the on the side of GTW client, uh, um, we have uh, uh, added some future, for example, the possibility to, to save by user the filtering data uh, on the map and to catch again in, uh, in the future. And uh, we have uh, extended the possibility to create a custom teams directory on QGIS uh, on a GTW client and save it. About uh, the editing capabilities, now it's possible to editing table and uh, that are in the relationship one-to-one -one and end-to-one uh, with a parent layer without uh, editing uh, before one layer and, and after the second layer. Now it's possible also now it's possible also uh, editing a relationship in cascade between layer. And uh, is, is, uh, now it's possible uh, to make editing with layer with multi-geometry, an example table with multi-type multi geometry inside the PostGIS, inside the PostGIS layer. And uh, uh, for layer, for geometric layer that uh, with, uh, where mm, there is a future without a geometric component, now it is possible to add it. Mm. About the uh, about the print layout, now it is possible to export the print in JPG, SVG, and GPDF format, and it's possible to uh, specify the scale and the DPI of the download of the, uh, the, the of the print. Uh, as, as I said before, uh, we have developed this model for the app integration of uh, uh, co-processing inside the GTAP suite. As you can see, it will be possible to create your model inside the QGS desktop and have uh, and as uh, the same model inside the GTW, the GTW client, and GTW bin, so. And uh, what about for the next uh, 3.9? We, um, we, we, we want to extend the table fields order capabilities uh, that you make, can make inside your, your, your QGIS desktop. Uh, we are making integration with uh, new database storage for the Kenshin DB that, has, that are at the moment uh, under development thanks to Alessandro Vosotti. And uh, uh, we want to extend the editing capabilities, uh, for example, addition, uh, uh, adding uh, tools for geometric, ed new tools for geometric editing, uh, new attribute table widget, and uh, etc. About the possible future 4.0, a, a complete refactoring of the GTW suite for GTW admin and GTW client, in particular for GTW admin. Uh, for make it uh, an, a more modern with uh, uh, an a structure uh, client server also for the GTW admin for to expose uh, many uh, APRS services for the integration with uh, all the with the third party application. We want to uh, make a, a complete separation between the, the co two component uh, between client and uh, and uh, and uh, admin thanks to a GBT integration. We want uh, to uh, uh, update the Django version and migrate to open layer 8.2.1.0. Thank you for your attention. So thank you, Walter, for this interesting uh, presentation. Um, are there any questions? Um, hi, thank you for the presentation. 
Um, I was just wondering, uh, from the last slide then, you mentioned that you, d you don't have any capability of uh, interacting with it via REST API, as in setting user um, management or these kind of things, yeah. so this is on the... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, at the moment it's not possible. It's not because possible. Uh, GitHub Dwin is in a classical Django app. So it's a very classical Django app, so we don't have any API. Very, very, no, no more API for that. Hmm? Uh, we have developed some, some few API for some customer, but for to do that, but uh, I'd like to, to, to split this for, for, to expose this type of API. For example, for publishing project or create user enroll from a third party application. Okay. Uh, and the second question, um, you don't have the capa uh, do you have the capability to ac actually mix layers or, or every project you publish stays in the same form? Like if you have two projects published, can you inherit uh, layers from one project to another or you get my point? Oh, if, if, okay. If I understand it, do, do, do you ask me if uh, if uh, if I have uh, two projects uh, with the same layer? No, no, two no. different layers. But different. I would like uh, to use the one layer from another project which has been published already. Oh, okay, okay. Can ah, I it's pull possible. It, it, it is possible. It's possible. Ah, it supports also the uh, in editing system of the project uh, of the QGIS project. Uh, in, in QGIS pro in QGIS desktop, you can in, you can incorporate another project inside the. The, 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 the other project that you can, uh, in this works in the same way in the GitHub suite. I was wondering in the front end, not oh. in the back end. You have external layers. So you can, you can inherit external layers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Now I have a question. Um, how do you deal with um, performance, or do you have some experience like uh, how? You do some caching, I saw you use Redis, um, okay. so, or do you use the internal cache of QGIS server? Maybe you can share okay. some experiences. By default, by default uh, we use the internal cache of QGIS the server. But uh, we have another model that I don't show you that integrate, uh, we have integrated map proxy uh, server for to caching, of, uh, in particular for a layer that uh, is not uh, refreshing very often. So uh, uh, GTW Suite has a, a also a default caching system based on our old tile stash. In fact, in fact, it's very old for this application. And uh, nothing. We use, we use uh, this, this type of caching at the moment. Uh, one thing, so can, I, can I do a question? Uh, someone at the moment using uh, GTW Suite? I know Tudor, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, ah, yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to uh, steal the session, but I was wondering, can you can you create a project without publishing a project? You. Can can you create a like a, a layer uh, a project yeah. with GTW uh, suit without publishing one? I know. No, so it's you always dependent to, yeah, on, yeah, yeah. On, a, yeah, on a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you have to create your QGIS project. And since it is such a... It's a QGIS um, project, have you ever had any discussions with, with the core QGIS team to make interoperability a little bit easier, like having a simple menu on the menu of button, publish, publish to, and then making the user experience really easy for people who are yeah, not yeah, GIS yeah. experts. Some customer ask, ask us to do this, but uh, we choose to, no, we, perché? <laughs> I ask my colleague, but uh, uh, we, we choose a, a very simple system for the, for the user. At the, at, the start, at the beginning of the project, uh, we choose this direction, uh, because uh, uh, it, we, we wanted that the, pro, the, the workflow was uh, um, simple, simple as possible. Mm? So a very, every user can get his project and plot uh, it uh, in, in a web app. So we, we choose this, uh, this workflow. Mm -hmm. And uh, our strategy is uh, to, to, first of all, inherit uh, Every we can inherit from the QGIS project. If a QGIS project don't give uh, the, the, uh, 
some future, for example, searches, searches system, so I, I decided to, to implement it inside the JTOW suite. 